What's up, everyone? Welcome to another edition of Theron's Thoughts. My name is Theron Shetty. These are my thoughts. Welcome. Welcome to my life. Happy Sunday, everybody. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Oh, it's a glorious time here. <laughs> it's such a glorious time. Am I really having a good time or am I on the brink of madness? I mean, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. I woke up today and I just went straight to the gym, baby. I went and I ran, lifted some weights. Man, the gym just straightens everything out. I went to the Ha Ha Comedy Club on Friday to uh, take pictures. I got this camera. This camera that I'm actually shooting this vlog on, or whatever this is, darn thoughts, um, is doubles as a photography camera. So I've been taking photos of my friends. And so my buddy was like, can you come take photos of me at the Ha Ha Cafe? I don't like being around comedians. <laughs> I really don't. I don't, like I went there early and I just, now I was with these comics hanging out and I don't know, man, it's just something like, I feel like people are gauging each other. Maybe I'm making it up in my head. First of all, they didn't know if I was performing or not. So I could tell they were kind of gauging me like, is this guy gonna go up tonight or is he hanging out here? And it's like a weird thing when somebody's hanging out and they're not performing. And I really wasn't even there to perform. I was there to take pictures, but nobody knew why I was even there. I took photos of my friend and then got out of there as fast as possible. There was a comedian on stage who doesn't write his own material. And I don't want to say his name, but every time I see him, man, I just don't want to sit through his act at all. Because I know he's writers and I love originality. Like, even when a comic bombs, I really respect that comedian because at least he's writing his own stuff. But then when I see someone kill and do material that's not his, that somebody else wrote, it's like, dude, why are you even doing this? <laughs> why, you know? And again, it comes back to the whole ego thing. A lot of comics are just you know, egomaniacs. They just wanna be on stage and hear people applause for them. And then I'm thinking, you know, why do I even have an opinion about this? Who cares what I think? I keep forgetting there's no rules to this for anything in showbiz for that matter. Like, like a sense of lawlessness, right? It's anarchy. 24-7 uh, in life and as you get older you kind of experience this. Let's not get negative here. It was a great night uh, My friend was very happy with the photos and I'm glad I could help out. I was debating um, Doing cruise ships the comedians do comedy and cruise ships and a bunch of my friends do it and they make really good money Like I know a guy in Florida who books cruise ships and I sent him like my tape and he goes, <laughs> my tape, I'm, I got some jokes which make fun of Florida. Oh, Florida, I lived there um, trying to fit in. I got my teeth yellowed. I got to wear an Invisalign, you know, jokes like that. And the guy calls me up and he's like, yeah, I watched your tape. He's like, you can't make fun of Florida or call people white trash. I mean, that's who the customers are in the cruise ships. He's like, you're way too edgy. And I was like, oh, that sucks. And he goes, make me another tape and I'll, I'll uh, submit it for you. But then he goes, he goes, dude, he goes, you're a good writer. He goes, he goes, why do you even want to do this? This is a step to nowhere. And I thought about that and I was like, you know, I am a good writer. <laughs> I really am a great writer. I'm probably a better writer than I'm a stand up. And I was like, this is just a sign from the universe and double down what I'm doing. So I don't have really any spots lined up aside from the dime bar this Tuesday. And I'm just gonna, you know, focus on my writing stuff. Sometimes the universe speaks and you have to listen. Like I really hate all that no woo woo shit, but um, in this case, I really have no other choice. So yesterday I picked up a book for the first time in months. Like I used to have time to read and I haven't had any time. Um, I'm taking a class and we stand up and yesterday I was like, just read for a half hour, that's all. And man, I forgot how much I love reading. Like I'm reading this book called uh, Amor Tarles, um A Gentleman in Moscow. And he's a pretty, uh, good contemporary writer. He's got a lot of buzz behind him. And he wrote, he wrote this other book called, and this is a book club all of a sudden, he wrote this book called uh, The Lincoln Highway, which was a really good book. I really love how authors have a unique voice. And you know, that's my goal in Hollywood. It's not to be the best stand up, it's to have a voice, uh, a unique one at that. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great weekend and we'll talk soon. Take care.